Hi there, my name's Dave and I'm a farmer, and you are watching AgriVlog. Welcome to part two of Harvest. Now, if you haven't already watched part one, I suggest you go and do so. There is a link below in the description of this video. Right, let's go and harvest some oats. Now, we are currently harvesting the third crop out of four, oats. This particular variety of oats will go for human consumption so it will end up in muesli and in porridge oats and things like that. Some varieties of oats are used for animal feed as well. Harvesting oats is just like harvesting every other crop really. I still have to take the uh, oats off the combine into the trailer. It also still has to be taken to the grain store, tipped into the pit. And having been tipped, it has to be heaped up into the pit so it can be put through the dryer into the store. And there it goes into the bay. And there it is full. And yes, you are looking at the same bay from roughly the same perspective as before. Well, that bit about oats was short and sweet now, wasn't it? Now, on this lovely sunny day, we are harvesting the last out of our four crops, wheat. Now, wheat's the main crop on the farm, and in this case, we'll go for animal feed. Now... It's the crop that we get the highest yield out of. Also, it takes up twice as much land area on the farm as any other crop. So therefore, it's the one that fills the grain barn most. Now, thankfully, this year we have managed to move all of the oilseed rape off the farm and onto lorries. So there is enough room in the grain barn to accommodate all of the wheat. So there's the combine cutting the wheat. Now as I said before, this particular variety of wheat will go for animal feed. Other varieties can be used for milling, so they go into things like bread and biscuits. You can also get malting wheat, which eventually will go into wheat beer and certain brands of whiskey. It's quite a versatile crop really. Now, when it comes to transporting the grain from the field to the grain store, you know the drill by now. I have taken a load of wheat off the combine, I'm at the grain store, I'm tipping the trailer now. Once I've tipped, I will heap it up so it can be put through the dryer and into the store. As you can see, the wheat comes out of that uh, middle conveyor that runs the length of the barn there. We don't need to use the cross conveyor, so all we have to do is open the hatches in the main conveyor and let it go. There he goes, he's licking on. Now as you can see, as the combine goes over the contours of the ground, it stays level whilst the header tilts to go with the contours of the ground. The system is called Hillmaster. It's quite a good system. It basically keeps the combine level along the side of a hill. It's very useful as the, some of the hills on the farm are quite steep. Meanwhile, in the grain store, as you can see, the centre section is getting rather full of wheat. So we have decided to put wheat in the left and right sections so hopefully we will have enough room to put it all in the store. Now, the reason we are filling the side sections before the centre section is full is because it's, it's, because it's as much easier to move the cross conveyor there with the centre section empty. Now, you may be wondering what it is that happens to the straw after it's come out of the combine. The answer is it gets bailed up by that baler over there. Now what Ben is towing behind his tractor basically puts the straw into bales. 
best way to describe it is straw goes in, bales come out. Watch him go back into the swath of straw again. Now, below in the description I have posted a link to an animation of how a baler works. Go and check that out if you like. Now, what putting it into bales means is that it's nice and easy to handle and it gets put into stacks like that. I was hoping to get a shot of a telehandler stacking bales but I haven't been able to this harvest and we are very nearly finished so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to today either. Uh, we use a contractor to bale, stack and move the straw and it looks like they just haven't got a telehandler out here today. Anyway, after it's been stacked like that a lorry turns up and takes it away. It will go down to a straw merchant in Somerset this year as there is high demand for straw down in Somerset where there are a lot of dairy farms and low demand around here where there are very few. Harvest is over! We finished cutting. I am now at the grain store tipping the last load into the pit. Now, the more eagle-eyed amongst you may have spotted my lack of a hat. There is a reason for that. There's a tradition on this farm that um, at the end of harvest someone's hat has to go through the combine and um, well, yeah. Anyway, usually the hat survives, but in this case it didn't. Now, there's still work to be done. The last of the uh, wheat starts to be put through the dryer into the store, but uh, the bulk of the hard work is now over. And there you have it. One grain store filled to the brim with wheat. Now, that's it for harvest. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, queries or comments, you know what to do. Subscribe for more.